Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is Magna Nordal, I'm an ATR captain and instructor. Today we will have a look at the holding procedure and how it's flown in ATR aircraft with glass cockpit and legacy variants with the HT-1000 GNSS. Holding is a procedure used to wait. For example, at a busy airport you may have to wait for your turn to commence the approach. Or you may use the holding to wait for better weather or to buy yourself time to prepare for approach, for example after a system failure and you have to complete the checklist. Since the purpose is to wait, you want to burn as little fuel as possible. Therefore, you should not fly too fast. Standard holding speed for ATR aircraft and other aircraft in category B is 170 knots at or below 14,000 feet. Higher up, the speed limit is 240. But the speed must not be less than minimum operational speed plus 10 knots. That means for an ATR-72 with a high weight in icing conditions, the speed may be higher than 170. You shall not use flaps in holding unless you are flying single engine in icing conditions and otherwise cannot maintain minimum operational speed. The main reason we shall not use flap in holding is that ice may form behind the de-icing boots on the top of the wing if you fly too fast. You can watch the video about American Eagle Flight 4184. There is a link in the description below. Besides, use of flaps increases drag and therefore fuel consumption. The rules for holding is found in ICAO DOC 8168, Procedures for Air Navigation Services, Aircraft Operations, shortened to PANSOPS. Volume 1 is for the pilots and Volume 2 is for those who construct the procedures. It is interesting reading. A holding area is an airspace with defined borders. Holding can be flown over a fix, like a GPS position, an NDB or VOR, or along a VOR radial with a DME fix. The FMS or the GNSS makes it very easy to fly a holding, but the pilots should know the basics anyway. The holding area provides ample space for entry from any direction, also on the non-holding side. The most important thing is that you must not fly too fast. Therefore, reduce the speed before you enter the holding. Normal timing in the holding is 1 minute when flying at or below 14,000 feet. I wrap it's one and a half minutes. Some of you may have learned that the inbound leg shall be one minute. This is not correct. If you have tailwind on the inbound leg, you will have to extend the outbound leg and this might bring you outside the holding area. The rule is to adjust the outbound leg to be equivalent to one minute in zero wind. For example, if you have 20 knots tailwind on the outbound leg, reduce the timing with 20 seconds. And if you have 10 knots headwind outbound, you increase the timing with 10 seconds. In other words, you adjust the outbound timing with 1 second per knot headwind or tailwind component. This is of course easier when the outbound leg is limited by a DME distance. There are three entry sectors, and they are overlapping each other with 5 degrees. The entry method depends on the heading you are flying and not the track. This figure shows the holding pattern with a right hand turn, which is standard. Sector 1 entry is called parallel entry. When passing overhead the fix, turn left onto the outbound heading. When the timing is out, turn left to intercept the inbound track or return to the fix. Sector 2 entry is called offset or teardrop entry. When passing the fix, turn onto a heading to make a good track making an angle of 30 degrees from the reciprocal of the inbound track on the holding side. When the timing is out, turn right to intercept the inbound track. Sector 3 entry is called direct entry. When passing over the fix, turn right to follow the holding pattern. When flying ATR aircraft, the GNSS or FMS will keep track of which entry you should use. Here is how we set up a holding and ATR aircraft with glass cockpit. We are in one month's away point. If ATC tells us to enter holding at Mamso, we will start to reduce the speed right away. This saves fuel. Since this is a demonstration filmed during an actual flight, I maintain cruise speed. 
Open the flight plan page and click on the left line select key Abi Mamsu. This opens the lateral revision page. Select holding. The FMS suggests inbound course 006, which is the current track. If I want to change the inbound course, for example, to 030, I type it and press here. You can see how the holding pattern changes on the navigation display, but I want to use 006 degrees. This key allows me to toggle between right and left hand holding pattern. Unless instructed by ATC, we use right hand pattern as this is standard. If I want to change the time on the open leg, I must type the time with one decimal and press this key. If I want to change the distance on the open leg, I must type slash plus the distance and press the same key. If I want to change the speed, I can enter it with this key. I restore the speed and the time to standard values. To activate the holding, press Execute. Note that the track line from Amso to Dalso is removed. The aircraft will now fly to Mamso and enter the holding. And it will remain in the holding until we press clear and press left key and beam the line clear to exit next. Note that the track line to Dalso is restored. The aircraft will now fly to Mamso, fly one turn in the holding and then continue to Dalso. To cancel the holding, I select direct to page and select the second Mamso. That's most easy. If you want to hold at the present position, you select this key. This opens the lateral revision page and you select holding, etc. The aircraft will then enter holding at present position. But I will not do that and select return and clear temporary. And now I do with Earth's cockpit. I have not flown it for almost 10 years, but I have some notes from that time. So if I make a mistake, please let me know in the comment section below. In this example, we are in Bon Montpellier in France. We will hold at Gigna Waypoint. This is a left pattern where the open leg is 5 nautical miles long. Press the hold key and press the left key next to Gigna. Then press this key to define Gigna as the holding fix. If you want to hold at your present position, you press this key. On the holding page, check and eventually insert the inbound course. To select 104 degrees and left turn, you type 104L and press this key. The leg time is entered with this key and the distance with this key. In this case, the distance is 5 nautical miles. EFC means expect further clearance. You can enter the time you are expected to leave the holding, but this is only for reference. The GNSS will not leave the holding on its own. And this is the entry procedure selected by the GNSS. Press execute and activate the hold. To exit the hold, press this key and execute. If you change your mind before exiting the hold, select resume hold. And that's it. If you liked the video, please click like, share with your friends and all that. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy learning.